Good morning. Well, it's an honor to have two famous chefs on my segment today. World famous chef from New York, Daniel Belloud, and his new executive chef at Lumiere and DB Modern, Dale McKay. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. What are we going to make today? Well, we're cooking mussel. I've been driving around Vancouver to get familiar, but uh, I'm soon going to have a boat to get familiar <laughs> with all the islands. So where are they from? Dale? South Spring Island. Yeah, yeah South Spring Island, yeah. and uh, beautiful mussel. Right now, winter time. It's a beautiful dish. We are making a hot mussel soup with uh, saffron and, okay. and a herb crust on top of the mussel. Let's get going. And, and sweet pepper. So, so Dale's uh, adding a little bit of olive oil. A little oil. bit of oil there. Yes. Yeah. And then he's, he cranked up the, the garnish inside, leeks, onion. We have a little bit of celery, shallots, a little bit of parsley. So you're going to salt that, salt that. Yes. Yeah. OK. Then add the mussel. Add a little bit of white wine. It's good when the food is singing. <laughs> yeah. You can hear the music. It's so you music. basically steam that until exactly. they open. Okay. Exactly. So and we of course get all the mussel juice yeah. and all the mussel steam. Okay. And, uh, here I have some steamed mussel. Beautiful. And you took some of the juice. Okay. And I have some juice. And okay. Some cream, so these are the juice we got out of it. Okay. Beautiful muscle. Look at the color. Oh, they're nice and plump. They are, oh, they're amazing. Yes. They're really special. This is a great time of year for a lot of uh, shellfish. Yes. So the muscle, we take them off the shell. Okay. And while Dale is going to start to prepare now for the soup. And so what's, going in, what's going in so there? So what's going in the soup, Dale, go ahead. Uh, we have carrots, potatoes, uh, red onions, and okay. some celery. Okay. Oh, that's a hot stove there. Yes. So you get all your vegetables in there. Okay. And we're just gonna sweat those down. And uh, we're just gonna sweat them down nicely. And get them a little bit translucent, get them kind of going. And then we are gonna add Do you our... wanna soften them? Yeah, you wanna soften them okay. up a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a soup, so it's not essentially you take them too, too far. Okay. You wanna get them kind of going, get all the flavors loosened up, and get all the juices kind of going. Okay, yeah. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nice uh, muscle juice which we drained off from our mussels that we just steamed. Okay. And add that in. So that was just the liquid from the, the juice this and the, the yeah, white wine. The wine, the, wine, yeah. the vegetable yeah. and the juice. Yeah. yeah. And here in the mussel, I'm taking what we call the lip. So you always look at the mussel, and then I'm taking this part, which is not always very pleasant to eat. Oh, really? I've never seen the, that before. Yes, always, yeah. Okay, okay. I, um, and then we keep the mussel like this, so they're beautiful. Um, so it's called the lip, and you just remove the lip. Yes. Okay. Voila. So it makes them more tender. Very much. Yes, and okay. then we put them in a ring here. And okay. one next to each other. Okay. Like that. Fill up the rings with it. Yeah. And take then what off. is in here, right here? Yes, this, take this one is ready also. And this one, it's, it's the uh, butter. Uh, butter compound with breads and herbs and, and some a little bit of shallots yes. and paper, hot paper inside. Okay. And you can put bacon if you like bacon as well. Okay. And, that's and we put that right there. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we bake that under the salamander here. Okay. okay. Just to brown it. To crust it, brown it. Okay. Let that butter melt down a little bit and really flavor the mussel and, okay. and reach the flavor. With uh, All the butter is going to melt, all the crust is going to stay, flavoring the crust. Butter to just nourish the muscle and then it slide up. Okay. And it's uh, delicious like this. Yep. And then the soups, you've already. The soup, uh, basically, I added the cream, added the saffron, and then normally I would just let that kind of cook out for maybe 20 minutes, and okay. then I'm going to put it into a food processor. Pass and it puree through, it. Yeah, pass and you it. already have some already and made. I have some made okay. here. So what we do in the restaurant is we kind of heat it up, buzz it up. And then we'll pour it into a, a Oh, nice this is pretty fancy. Yeah, you don't, have to do the, you don't have to do this at home. You can just pour it straight in your bowl. Yeah, with my plastic ladle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And then so we put that up, and then the, the waiter would normally take that out. And then uh, the chef's going to plate up the, the mussel um, gratin there. OK. Um, so you see the crust is made The crust is made with uh, butter, a uh, bit of pan, breadcrumbs, yeah. fresh breadcrumbs, and a little bit of dry, garlic, parsley, and a little bit of pancetta. OK. But you can use also smoked bacon. Pancetta, you can use chorizo if oh, you yeah. like. Okay. Uh, with the saffron and all that, it goes very well. But there's well. really nothing fancy. All these ingredients are very available. Simple. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. It's just all about the product with this one. It's it's definitely about the about the salt spring mussels. Yes. I mean, they're they're all you need really. Now those mussels are 
ready. Okay. And you can do that at the, with a broiler at home. Wow, Very nice and golden see? brown. Okay. This is the second one I did. Oh, it smells great. You can smell the garlic thank and you, the butter. Yes. Just like escargot. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. That's the ideal. Cool. Oh. Very hot. Okay. And some roast, roast red peppers. Yep. Okay. Roasted red peppers. So this cu this cuisine that you do here is very hands-on. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Okay. And then when you, what's this that you're... That's just up? a bit of saffron oil. Okay. Just around for a bit of color.